We're looking for like these nuts, berry things. They kind of taste like actually cereal. They're like dried out. But he's showing us in the tree what they are. Greetings from our lovely campsite in Darjomj. Uh, we came in last night, saw this um, little sports field area and asked some kids if we could camp. We walked over, talked to the man here, Oldham. He said, yeah, put your tent right here under my trees. We have a walnut tree over here, apple tree. And uh, told us to help ourselves to his garden. We got potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, leeks, cabbage. Uh, and then everyone in the village came over and gave us so much food. In fact, too much food, we have to give some back and, and uh, we just can't eat it all. I think we're pretty content with sleeping here all day today because we're really tired. It's day nine on the Bartang Valley and the 12th day of consecutive riding. We're going to do a short day today and uh, finish up the valley tomorrow. Party on. Day 47 in the Bartang Valley. Zombie apocalypse started. I came just hiding out in the mountains, trying to keep away from everything. We got Amber about a week ago. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to survive. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Tenth day here on the Bartang Valley and our 13th day of consecutive riding. Uh, hopefully we finish the Bartang today and we're gonna take a two days rest in Rushan. But for now, we're waking up to a beautiful little oasis here. I'll give you a little 360 view. We've got a nice plateau above the river and road behind me. We had a wonderful night's sleep and uh, no landslides despite all the giant rocks on the ground. And so. no zombies either. <laughs> and the sun is just about to poke up the mountain behind us. So we're going to hit the road and continue on to Rushan. Waking up here every day in the Bartang Valley. Get to, get to hear the gentle flow of the river and the beautiful fresh air. It's been fantastic. We had a really good time in this valley. It's been tough, but it's been good. Surely it'll be a highlight of our trip. And that's right in front of us. That's actually Afghanistan. So it's kind of cool because we're we're really close to Afghanistan. Um, if you go left, it's towards Karag, which is another town in Tajikistan. And to the right is Rushan and Dushanbe. But right there is Afghanistan.
I'm riding at 20 kilometers an hour right now, and that's the fastest I've ridden since we left Karakul 200 miles ago, 10 days ago. Ah, I love this pavement, woo! We've officially made it to the end of the Bartang Valley. The road ahead of us leads to Rushan and Dushanbe, and the road oh, back this way is going to Karag. We did it! Good job. We are just at the intersection um, going towards Karag and um, Dushanbe. And there was a man that just stopped us and said, you need to come to my home to have to tea, to come have chai. And so we're like, okay, okay. And so we rode about like a kilometer down the road and he invited us and he's giving us all these bread and apples and candy and tea and it's just so nice and he seems so busy and he just gave us all his food and now he's back to work doing whatever he needs to do. Very interesting. Very nice. Oh yeah, is this? The choo -choo, yeah. We're looking for like these nuts, berry things. They kind of taste like actually cereal, they're like dried out. But he's showing us in the tree what they are. And they're called toots. Oh yeah, toot. Oh, oh yeah, one, okay. It's a toot. A toot toot. Bri, bri, kusha. More? Bri, bri. Yeah. Bri, so bri. Eat, 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 eat. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to blow on it. Eat. No problem, eat. Perfect. So good. Placebo. Wow. Ocean by Shia. How big this is? Welcome to Rushan. Welcome to Rushan. Welcome to Rushan. Thank you for the apples. <laughs> yeah, because. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Spasiba. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> By choice, Pasiba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.